get spoken because I'm because of my pregnancy, because of my health. Um, there's quite a few reasons, but the main one was my pregnancy and my son. The only reason that I did do it is because of the baby. If there's, there's no other reason really, no other motivation. Just the fact that I was pregnant with this little one. The opportunity was there because of the help that you get. The midwives informed you straight away that there was this service. Pregnant women find it hard to quit because it is hard to quit. It's not. I think people think that because we're pregnant and we've got a baby growing, it's a natural thing to do to protect our child because that's our job, isn't it? We protect our children. People like used to look at me and think, you know what, you're pregnant, it should be easy, you do it for your child, but just because you're carrying a baby it doesn't mean it's going to be easy. You still have to fight that craving, plus you've also got that guilt. We had a bit of a worry the other month with Zach, um, that he'd got asthma. Like I thought, oh my God, that's because I smoked in pregnancy, even though it was two months ago. It's always in the back of your mind. I did that to him. I felt that guilty, so I wasn't really enjoying the smoke anyway. Um, so it's like one morning I just woke up and that was it. It was like I was a non-smoker. And um, then every day it just got that little bit easier. I think I got the first week out of the way and it was fantastic. I knew then that I did it and that I definitely wouldn't be doing it again. Pregnant women find it hard to quit smoking because they've got hormones rushing through their body, um, a lot of changes going on. I couldn't quit with my first pregnancy with my, my first son um, and I don't know why I couldn't. I, I found it too stressful but I found it really easy to quit this time. I was going to use the spray and then I was too frightened to use it because I don't like putting things in my body which sounds really daft considering I was a smoker but um, talking to Claire and having somebody at the other end of the phone and my friendship group had changed since I'd started work and none of them are smokers so it wasn't around me and I wasn't drinking because I was pregnant. I knew once I'd been in that situation with my friends and that I didn't smoke I, I knew that I could definitely do it, definitely. And I'm around them all the time now and they're still smoking and I, I still don't smoke. <laughs> The support that I've had has been fantastic. So, and there's phone calls there or extra appointments. I saw Claire every week, so, and then it went to every two weeks. So I don't really think there's much more you can do. So it's only now that I've actually had it that I can feel the benefit and I can feel that, like, I can actually take a really good breath in. When I'm walking, I'm not breathless. What was really good was she wasn't frightened with everything about cancer and all that thrown at you. It was just talking and learning about everything else really, which because at first I was a bit frightened thinking, oh, they're going to show me pictures of this and that and tell me that this death rate's up here. <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't a frightening experience. I know it helps having the, the, the nicotine patches and the things that the help to quit people give you, but it's just the best thing was the encouragement and the support that I got from them. Knowing that I could ring them up even if I wanted to have that extra cigarette that I shouldn't be having, I knew that I could ring you up and you would have talked to me on the phone you, or you, know, you would have come to see me. Um, so it's, I've definitely got to go with the support and the encouragement. But it's, it's just good to talk to somebody and not feel pressurised into smoking at all, that someone's looking down on you for smoking because you get a lot of that now, if people walk up in the street with a fag or something like that, and people do look down at you, and I suppose at first I thought, is this gonna be someone coming preaching to me about it? Because I don't do well with people <laughs> doing that. But it wasn't you gain a friend, really. What I learned most from the Out to Quit is when the lady explained what was actually in cigarettes, it, that really scared me. And then they gave me this little machine thing to blow into. And then it showed me that my baby was actually getting a lot of carbon monoxide, which was probably the most shocking thing. To do it for so long and be pregnant and have all that stress as well, I'm not about to go and start smoking.
because I'm determined, I'm adamant, I'm not smoking again. Purely for the fact that I'm not doing it. No, <laughs> I'm being stubborn. <laughs> the, the urge of smoking, and I, I, I don't know, I, don't, I just don't want to do it. I can't imagine being a smoker again ever. I've cracked the day to day giving up smoking, but I'm still feeding in myself, so I haven't had a night out yet. But Claire said there's, you know, she'll support me on that first night and I can talk to her. So that'll be my next challenge. Oh yeah, I want to stay quit for the rest of my life. For health reasons, for money reasons. There's more reasons to stay quit than there is to start smoking again. I know in a year I'm going to save that much money. So I reckon the kids will be getting that little extra holiday this year, hopefully. Thanks to mummy not smoking, eh? <laughs>